Hello you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. So a couple of you guys have asked me, Uncle Rat, are capture the flags worth it when you want to do bug bounties? And in my opinion, yes, for several reasons. So that was the short answer, let's get right into the long answer, shall we? Why are capture the flags worth it, in my opinion, if you want to be a bug bounty hunter? Well, being a bug bounty hunter is all about outsmarting everybody else. It's not about being a good penetration tester, because if you want to be a good penetration tester, go be a good penetration tester. But a good bug bounty hunter has to outthink the competition. All of the bug bounty programs out there have already been tested fully. A pen tester has gone through them. And now it's your job to think of solutions that the pen tester hasn't thought of before. It's really, really hard. It's not easy at all. And that's why I like capture the flags as well. But only the good capture the flags. Now, this is really important. You have good capture the flags, in my opinion, and you have bad capture the flags. Now, what's the difference? A good capture the flag will actually learn you a new skill. It will teach you something new and it will help you along on your journey. It doesn't have to be a skill related to bug bounties per se. It can be a skill related to anything like, for example, um, the cryptography challenges here. They are not going to be very useful when you do bug bounties on first sight, you may think. But then when you do bug bounties and you dive really, really deep into them, you'll come across some programs which actually encrypt their data and encrypt their parameters. So when you send a request, it's going to be encrypted and it helps if you know how to decrypt things. And especially if you have all of these, uh, all of these challenges that are, are, are aimed at decrypting stuff like um, the flag HMAC here, for example, on 24-7 CTF. By the way, guys, this video is sponsored by 24CTF. At the end, we're going to give away some memberships. So stay tuned for that. There's also this really cool one I like, Suspicious Caesar Cipher. There's only been one solve. And if you want to have a go at solving it, you have to have the membership. So if you guys want that membership, again, stay tuned till the end. And all of these challenges on 24-7 are really good. And why are they really good? They teach you some valuable skills again, like this, these challenges. But they also, these challenges, they're, what, what I don't like about CTFs, and this is my biggest problem. So say, for example, you host the CTF, it lasts for two days and then it's over. And you can never try the challenges again. You can look at the write-ups, which is really cool. But the write-ups are nothing compared to trying it yourself, trying real challenges. And that's why I like 24-7 uh, CTFs as much. Of course, I like other CTFs as well. But I'm a dad, guys. I don't have time all of the time. I have time, maybe a couple of hours. And this is also why I really like CTFs. Um, it's a bit different than bug bounty hunting. I know there's a vulnerability in there. And it's actually relaxing to try and solve some of these issues. It's like making a puzzle and that's what I really like. You know that there is a solution and you know that you're working towards it. While you're doing it, you're actually learning stuff, especially these web challenges. I really love them and I have to go uh, look at all of them thoroughly. Um, I've looked at them very superficially before. But I'll have to get into them because it's a sort of a game for me as well. I'm a gamer. I don't know if you guys are gamers. Quite a lot of you are probably gamers. And this gamifies it a little bit for me as well. Because if you look at the scoreboard, I'm number 1200 or something like that. There's actually a scoreboard and I like that as well. Because you can compete against other players, of course. It gamifies it a little bit. Um, so if you guys want to subscribe, if you guys want a subscription, which entails early access to new challenges, continued access to weekly hint and guaranteed 30 day release cycle for news challenges. If you guys want that for one month, I can give away three of them. Just write me in the description why you deserve it and how I can contact you. It can be email, it can be Twitter, it can be whatever. So I hope 
you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed my opinion on crosshead on ctfs as well i keep saying crosshead scripting because it's my name but it's ctfs of course i hope you guys enjoyed my opinion on 24 ctf if you did please leave a like and i'll see you in the next one bye amazing hacker